to Worth a Watch. My name's Carl. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. Now, I apologise about not uploading a video for about a month. I've had a COVID jab, I've started a new job, so you'll have to excuse me for not uploading for a few weeks. Today, we're going to be looking at one of my favourite watches in rotation, the Escapement Time Type B for Liga. This watch looks very much like a much more expensive Laco watch. It's very much a high-end spec. Let's have a look at the watch and look at the specs. The Escapement Tire comes with a really great 20mm leather proprietary strap. So you might think, why do you want to change it out? Well, I've got a few straps from Vario for this review and upcoming reviews, and it really transforms the watch from something that looks good to something that looks even better, in my opinion, with the military aesthetic, and it's a lot more comfortable. The proprietary strap is decent leather. It's got stainless steel buckle and decent stitching, but this Vario strap, which is classic, as a, and I'm going to get this right, it's a two-piece Cordura Army Green Zulu with oiled leather watch strap. It's uh, like a Hamilton khaki field proprietary strap on steroids. That's the kind of feel that I get from it. It's really comfortable. It's got steel keepers. It's got a nice sign buckle. It's got nice steel holes. So it, it's making sure that it's got that real rugged feeling. It's also a huge bonus having quick release straps. Really like the leather on the corners. It looks like it's built to last. You can go onto Vario website. I'll just show you how I actually found this particular strap. So you go through the menu as shown and it's the Cordura Army Green Zulu. This particular one will probably match as well with the coal black Zulu. I decided to go with the green because it reminded me of my Hamilton strap it was a little bit more rugged. So have a look on the website, have a look at the different strap options and the watches. Now these German Pilot or Aviator watches, or Fliegers as they're known, come in two variants, an A style with the triangle at the top and normal Arabics, or this B style that we have here with the minutes around the outside. Back in the day, they all used to be 55 millimeters and worn outside of the jacket, so they used to be huge. They had onion crowns for ease of grip, and they used to have great loom. This would cover the hands, Arabics, and indices. You can buy this watch from AliExpress. I bought mine from the Escapement Time official store. It cost me £72.96, just over £70 with discounts. I do know that sometimes it's out of stock, so keep checking back on the store. According to my calipers, the width of the dial is 42.3 millimeters. You've got a thickness of 12.4 millimeters. The band width is a nice 20 millimeters, so it's very good for switching out straps. And the lug to lug is 50 millimeters. So just be aware that if you have a six and a half inch wrist or below, it's probably gonna wear a little large. Mine is six and three quarter inch and it's probably on the limit. The case and case back are made from stainless steel and I have to say the brushing is exceptionally well done for the price. It's longitudinal and it's the same on the side of the case as it is on the bezel. The onion crown is incredibly well done. It's very grippy and easy to turn. It's sapphire glass, I tested it earlier on. The loom is blue tinged BGW9, so not quite as bright or as long lasting as maybe on the Seiko Turtle that I have but very, very bright and really long lasting. They've done a really good job on this case back with the embossed uniplane on the back. The case back shows stainless steel, sapphire crystal, waterproof of 300 meters. I'll say that again, waterproof of 300 meters. Made in China and the brand Escapement Time with Fliga Automatic. Now, along with that bold claim of 300 meters, Escapement Time also claimed that they have heat treated blued hands. Now, if that is true, and a lot of other YouTubers have actually said that it's been proven, then that is incredible value at over 70 pounds. The crown is nice and grippy. It's buttery smooth to dial back in. You've got three positions because it's an NH35. So there is a ghost position in the middle, but it works really well. It hacks like an original Fliga, hand winds, and it's easy to push back in. You get no cross threading, it's a nice action. 
The dial is simple, beautiful, functional, like a lot of Type B Fleegers. The difference between this one and maybe a Stover or an IWC or a Laco is that it's got a black gloss dial. Now, that might not be to your taste. You might like the original matte type of dial, but I think it's very well done. The machining on the Onion Crown is perfect. It's not too large. It's a shame it's not signed, but I think it's very well done in general. All the little bits that could be done for the price are amazing. The sword hands and the counterbalance on the second are both glued. You've got the second hand hitting every area of the dial all the way around and the case back looks great for the price. Here's a shot of it on wrist. This is my six and three quarter inch wrist with the Vario strap. It looks great on. It's probably at the limit with the lug to lug on my size wrist. And the reason why I thought I'd bring it over to the window to show you some natural light is you can see there's a bit of anti-reflective coating, but it still picks up quite a lot of reflection even with that anti-reflective coating. That said, it's a beautiful looking watch and it's got great legibility as you would expect from a Type B pilot's watch. So this is all very well and good, Carl, but I'd rather not have an AliExpress special and I'd rather have an original German Vliego. Well, what could you get? You could get the Stover on the left, which is a 43 millimeter, and it works out at just over 1100 pounds UK. Or you could get the Laco on the right, which is a 42 millimeter variant, and it works out at just over 842 pounds. Now, for me, that means you could buy 11 escapement times for the Laco or 16 escapement times for the Stover. There's people out there that would much rather buy the original German Mark. That's fine. For me, there's nothing wrong with buying the escapement time. I think it's great quality and value for money is fantastic. So there you have it, a Type B Fleega watch, which has got fantastic loom. It's got a great brushed case. It's very, very robust. It's got 300 meters of water resistance. I'm inclined to believe that it is 300 meters of water resistance, but even if it was 200 meters, at less than 100 pounds UK, it would be an amazing bargain. There have been lots of people that have looked at this watch, whether it be on Instagram or in person, that have thought it's a more expensive German for Liga watch. It does an incredible impression of a Laco, and it does an incredible impression of looking a lot more expensive than it is. But for me, the reason why I really like this watch is because the quality for the price is excellent, which is always a, a big area for me, the value for money. And then the other side of it is the fact that it's just such a great, simple, robust watch to wear on a daily. If you swap it out onto a different strap, like I've done with the Vario strap, it breathes new life into the watch. Quite honestly, when I bought this watch, I didn't think it would get as much wrist time as it does. It's become a mainstay now, and it's part of my full-time rotation, especially with a change of strap, it really gives it a bit more versatility. If you haven't already purchased one of these escapement times, I would recommend strongly that you do so. It's a slightly different version that escapement time did that sold very well also. It's a slightly cheaper version, but it's maybe worth checking that one out as well if it's a slightly different style that you prefer. Stay safe and see you next time. Bye.